All right, friends, so I posted the other day about reasons why maybe your workouts aren't working for you, like working out too hard or not working out hard enough, and several people wanted me to explain more in depth about that. So this is what this video is going to be, is all about why your workouts may not be getting you the results you want. So three main areas we're gonna hit on is either you're working out too easy, you're working out too hard, or you're doing too much moderate intensity exercise. So the first reason your workouts might not be working is because you're not working out hard enough. I hear so often, oh, I walk all the time. I've been walking a lot. I walked a couple miles the other day. So the exercise is good. Don't get me wrong. Walking is great. Walking is great for balancing your hormones. It's great for emotions. It's great for stress. It's a wonderful way to maintain mobility and take care of your body. Like it should be part of your normal daily life, getting in lots of steps. But for a lot of people, that is not enough exercise. Now, when this is good is when you're just starting to work out. If you're brand new to exercise or you're just starting to lose weight, then yes, starting with just a walk or some really light workouts is great because you do need to work your way up. You don't want to start with super high intensity. The problem is your body is eventually going to get used to that. So if you're walking, let's say two miles a day, within probably a few weeks or months, your body's going to adapt and that's not really going to help you lose weight anymore or get any more fit or get any more healthy. It's just more of like a general health and wellness practice to do. I actually personally lead a small health and fitness group for women at my church and most of our workouts are actually fairly easy. For some people they're hard, for some people they're really easy. I intentionally start them easy because I want their bodies to get used to the exercises, get used to the movements. So these are really important when you're doing things like strength training. You do want to start light. You do want to start a little bit easy. Work on proper form, get your body used to moving, get your muscles used to it. But just like walking, eventually you need to move past that. Especially for women, we need to get past the three pound weights, the five pound weights, and really start to challenge your muscle if you want to see change in your body, change in your physique, change in your weight. Okay, the second area is you're actually working out too hard. So there is <clears throat> a huge trend right now with HIT exercise, high intensity interval training. So this is like all the rage. Um, it's what everyone loves to do because you can do a short period of time, work super hard, and you burn a lot of calories, you can build muscle in it. It's a great way to work out. The problem is some people turn this into like their everyday workout, which is not healthy for your body. And one of the reasons this isn't healthy is because true high intensity exercise puts a lot of stress on your body. So it's gonna increase your cortisol levels, it's gonna increase recovery time. And if you think about it, if you're already like stressed out at work, you're stressed out because life is busy, you have emotional stressors going on in your life. So then if on top of that, you're doing tons of high intensity exercise, your body is like in this constant state of stress, um, fight or flight, high adrenaline, and it's not healthy over time. It's gonna mess with your hormones, it's going to possibly lead to like like adrenal fatigue. So while it is a really great way to work out, it should be used sparingly. It should not be something that you do every single day because your body does need some rest. It needs some recovery. It needs some time to actually build muscle, recover from the workouts. And if you're doing that all the time, then your body's not really going to be able to rest enough to rebuild itself. And you're going to be constantly stressed out. So you need to make sure you work in some calmer workouts, some um, you know, yoga, some walking, some stretching, some things that are a little bit lighter, even light weight training. And then the third reason why your workouts might not be working for you is you may be someone who's right in the middle of the road. So your workouts aren't too light, but they're not too hard either. It's just constant, moderate intensity exercise. The problem with this is you're kind of always going just hard enough to tire out your body, but not light enough to allow for proper recovery and also not hard enough to really challenge your muscles, to build muscle, to um, challenge your cardiovascular system. It's, it's like it's not hard enough and it's not easy enough. And so you're sort of in um, what endurance athletes call this like black hole zone where it's not really actually doing you that much benefit. And I think a lot of people do this. Maybe they go to the gym and they lift weights and it's kind of hard, but not super hard and it's kind of easy but not super easy and so they kind of stay a little bit stagnant because that's not going to push and challenge your body enough to see significant adaptations and this would apply too to endurance type athletes like if you're running all the time and it's kind of hard like you feel tired afterwards but it wasn't extremely hard it wasn't like a sprint effort it was just a hard effort you don't want to be always in this zone of kind of hard 
So what can we do about this? How can you make your workouts work for you? Well, basically I would say incorporate everything that I've just talked about. You kind of want to build in some variety to your workout so that you have days that are really hard. Like you're giving it all out effort, like seeing sprints if you're a runner or hard plyometrics if you're an athlete um, or weightlifting where you cannot get one more rep out at the end of your set. You're like grunting because it hurts so much or it's so hard to lift or push or whatever you're doing, that type of intensity. And then you should have some days built in there too that are, you know, kind of hard. They're going to keep your body moving. They're going to keep your muscles fresh, but they're not going to be overly taxing to your body. But those like moderate middle of the road exercises should be a little bit more, um, not as often as easy or really hard workouts. That's how you're really going to push your body and challenge it. So if you are more of an endurance athlete, typically what is pretty common to do is have about 80% of your training be really easy. Um, like you can carry on a conversation while you're doing it. Have about 20% be super hard. And then here and there you work in like the tempo runs or that type of workout where it's kind of like a race pace, um, if you can think about it that way. If you're more into like weightlifting or like the high intensity cardio type of stuff, that's fine to do. But how you kind of want to do it is with weight training, you wouldn't go all out with chest presses or squats every single day. You will just trash your body. What you can do instead is do a really hard leg workout and then maybe the next day you do a really hard upper body workout and then maybe the next day you take more of an easy day where it's like some core work and some stretching and yoga or some walking or elliptical or something like that. And how you do this really should be structured. It shouldn't just be super random, willy-nilly, whatever you feel like. You should have certain days that you know you're going to go easier, do some lighter workouts, days you know are going to be maybe longer, harder, more intense, and then days here and there that might be a little bit more moderate. So there should be a plan to this, otherwise known as programming. Um, but in short, I would just say when you're going to go hard with your workouts, go really hard. When you're going to go easy, go really easy and try not to spend too much time in this middle of, of the road zone. You want to make sure your body is getting rest and recovery. You want to make sure it's being challenged enough and you want to make sure you're getting some good variety. So if you need more specific help figuring that out for you and what your goals are, please contact me. I'd be happy to help. I hope this helps you reach your goal faster.